Okay, and today I'm going to be using these large cups. Okay, so these cups um, are much bigger than the ones that we normally use. Um, and the reason I'm choosing to use these cups is because whenever you use suction cups, um, let me give you an example. You don't mind if I use your back for this uh, explanation. Okay, so whenever you use the cups, what happens is you apply the suction and what's happening here, the cup is actually pushing down on the skin and then, and on the tissues, and then on the inside where the suction is, that's being lifted up, okay? And obviously you can see how there's a big kind of cone of the tissues on the inside of the cup. Now, when I put a cup next to that, okay, if I put a cup nearby, what's happening to the tissues here is they're, they're being waved almost, okay? So it's going up and then it's being pushed down in between these two gaps and then it's being lifted up and then if I put another cup on, it's being pushed down. So effectively what we get is almost like a bubble wrap effect where the, the, the section in the middle is lifted up and then on the outsides, it's actually pushing down on the tissues. Now in this case and in cases like this with Tim, where what we're working on um, and not to say that the positive pressure or pushing down on the skin, um, you know, you know, doesn't have a benefit. It does have a benefit. But what we're focusing on here, we we really want to help lift the tissues apart, help try and separate the fascia. Um, and actually, if I, I'm just going to redo this, and when I take the cups off, you can even see in his skin. You'll see the difference of how um, where the positive pressure is around the cup, okay, and the negative pressure is in the middle. So the negative pressure is bringing blood circulation to the, to the surface, or bringing blood to that area, and the positive pressure is pushing down, which is actually doing the opposite. When we take the cups off, you'll see even the coloration of his skin will give you a demonstration or an explanation of what I'm saying. Okay, so you see that, where we had the round circle where it was red, and then when we took the cup off, the, um, the, the tissue you know, it's being occluded of blood because it's been pressed on and then when we've let go the blood is then kind of suddenly perfused into that area and kind of resupplied that area. So this is exactly what I'm saying in terms of the positive pressure and the negative pressure in the cup. So in cases such as this what we're aiming to do is we're aiming to try and lift up as much of the tissue as possible. So the smaller the cups are the more we're getting pressure pushing down and the less we're getting pressure lifting up, you know, sucking up and, and stretching. So by using the larger cups, we're getting more of a lift than we are a press. But I'm going to be using the larger ones onto the shoulder and onto the rotating cup. So with these cups, um, and you should be able to, um, if, you, if you want to find out where to get these from, you should be able to check the link below on our YouTube page. Um, you should be able to find how to access or to get hold of these cups as well. So you can see this is a much bigger cup and it's lifting up is all of the muscle, literally we've got I think the whole belly of the infraspinatus and the tissues around the posterior shoulder in this. for a few minutes with these, okay? 